So now we can see why the Agile wall is so effective. The Agile wall allows us to focus on getting work completed rather than resource utilization. We've seen how 100% resource utilization actually has a detrimental effect on the overall throughput of uh, the work being completed by an Agile team. We want to focus on getting work done, not 100% utilization. The Agile wall is also a great information radiator. It provides tremendous transparency to the project team on progress, to stakeholders, to uh, everybody uh, associated with the project, and it also provides a lot of information on the health and well-being of uh, how the system is actually operating. It helps us manage constraints, helps us identify where the constraints are, helps us identify where we need to or how we need to uh, focus on breaking those specific constraints. And because it does show the complete system, shows everything that's happening with inside of our software development process for that project, it supports lean thinking and it also supports systemic thinking. I'd be glad to uh, share these slides with you, uh, even the Excel spreadsheets and the flash animation. Just send an email to tloy at tacitknowledge.com and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have, uh, take any feedback that you might have, and I'll gladly share these, uh, these resources with you. I would like to say that these are not project management tools. These are actually teaching tools. I don't believe that you need that stacked area chart in order to effectively manage projects. I think what you need is an effective agile wall. Uh, the follow-up presentation to this is going to be how to create and use an, eff uh, an effective agile wall. Uh, for example, if you look back on the flash animation that we had, you notice that I had a different color for every iteration. It's a very good reason for doing that. It allows you to quickly see if you have story cards that have been um, carried over from one iteration to the next, and you'll know that you have a problem on getting story cards to a done state. So if you walk up to an Agile wall and you see multiple colors for story cards on the wall, uh, a person is going to know instantly that there's there's some issues going on on that project with getting story cards to a done state. So there's a myriad of different tick trip. So there's a myriad of different tips and techniques for how to effectively use an agile wall, and we'll address those along with the questions of what do you do with an agile wall if you have a distributed team. So looking forward to putting that presentation together next, and uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions.